Hello and welcome to the training module about reporting. I'm going to show you how you can create reports and how you can modify the report using the filter or grouping function. To create a report, go to reports and choose the report you want to have. I'm going to use the detailed sales report, but all the techniques shown in this lesson works also in any other report. As soon as you going to create the report you will see the filter window is popping up. You either leave the default filter in it or you can change it right here or later. So at the moment I'm just going to remove all the filters and click OK. Now let's have a look at the report. First of all you see the report headings here and your column labels with the data in it. The data you can see are pre-selected for you, but if you wish you can add other information by clicking on the fifth icon, this one here, and choose any other field you want to have. For example, I take the supplier field and I say OK. Wherever your field is going to be entered, in my case it ended up here in the middle, usually it's in the end, you can choose to drag and drop wherever you would like to position your field. As you can see, the first column shows a grouping here. This is a default setting, but you can change it easily by using this icon, the second icon, to either say that you don't want to have any grouping or you want to group the first two, three or four columns. In this case I'm just saying I don't want to have any grouping. Another way of grouping would be, let's just bring it back to what it was before, if you take your field supplier for example and you want to group your information by that field you just drag it to the first position and automatically you will have your supplier information. What I just did was I was clicking on the edge here you see the, the cursor turns into an icon with two little arrows that is expanding my columns by double clicking or if you want you can drag it to the left or to the right to make the column bigger or smaller. If you want to sort your report you just have to click on the heading and it will sort your report ascending or descending. You might not see it straight away that depends on if you have grouping or not so for demonstration sakes I'm going to take the grouping out and for example I'm sorting by the category. You can click on the heading field here and as you see the little triangle this is indicating downwards, this is descending and that is going to be ascending for the triangle pointing upwards. Now let's have a look into the filter. If you want to add a filter you click on the third icon and your window that you have seen before pops up again. On your left hand side are all the available fields. So you choose your field where you want to filter for, for example I take the supplier and then you choose your operator to the right. You can take equal or not equal, greater than, less than and so on, up to contains. Contains usually is used for text fields, the other ones are used for numeric fields. And I can choose now from the list of my suppliers. You click on Add and you say OK. As soon as you have filtered, you can see it on the top right corner, your filter result by that filter. The other buttons you can see here in your reports allow you, for example, to expand or collapse your grouping. For that reason, I'm showing you again a grouping here. So I can collapse and expand. The other features here you see you can memorize your report. The memorizing function saves the report the way you have customized it with your own grouping, your filter, your fields you have chosen and so on. So you won't have to do that again. Okay, I'm going to close my report now and open it up from the memorized. This is my last memorized one. And then I have it back in here. 
The two icons next to the saving options allow you to either copy a single information or to copy the entire content, the entire table into, for example, Excel. So you could use the information for further data analysis or reporting. Positive System Solution offers an extra training module on that topic. I'm going to finish my reporting session by showing you in the last feature. For example, if you hoover with your mouse over particular information, you see a magnified glass coming up once in a while. If you double click then here, you see the properties of whatever you have clicked on opens and so you can make adjustments. You then can use the refresh button to update your report instead of running the whole report tool again. So well done and thanks for watching your PSS team.